As a young boy, Jersey Kluger became close friends with a young boy named Carol Wojtyła, who back then was nicknamed Lolek. They were about five years old. They sat next to each other in class, played soccer, and enjoyed life in their hometown. But their friendship was cut short. Jersey was Jewish, so during World War II, he and his family fled to avoid the Nazi regime. That young friendship is the basis of a book titled The Pope and I. Its author, Gianfranco de Simone, describes how after the war, the young boys thought that the other had been killed. But years later, their paths crossed again, when Wojtyla was elected pope. In fact, his first private audience was granted to his Jewish friend. Many of the good deeds that defined John Paul II as a child, he later exemplified as pope. Things like the defense of the Jews, considering them brothers, also the Polish phrase Starsi Bracia, which means older brothers. It's a phrase the Pope used as a small boy. One of the most moving moments in the book describes how one day the young Jewish boy walked into a church and waited for Karol as he was praying. That's when a woman scolded the young Jewish boy for being inside a church. At that time, Lolek, as he was nicknamed, raised his voice, turned towards the woman, saying, doesn't she know that we are all children of the same God? He then turned to his friend and said, Jews and Catholics pray to the same God. Kluger died on December 2011 at the age of 90. But he remembered how throughout his pontificate, John Paul II worked to improve the relationship between Jews and Christians. In April of 1986, he became the first pope to visit a synagogue. Then in 1994, his work triggered official diplomatic relations between the Holy See and Israel.